What's going on, everybody? It's my Paul Bear. Thank you all so much for coming checking out another video. And what I want to talk about today is how to save Call of Duty. I know it sounds a little bit drastic, but let's face it, people have been saying COD's dying for years, apart from this year. It's not far off being true. Now, bless it, this franchise is somewhat a teenager, a rebellious teenager at that. It started self harming. It keeps threatening that it's going to kill itself. Hell, it's sitting in the bath as we speak, holding a toaster above his head, crying. I don't think it's quite got the balls to drop it in yet, but who knows? Another year, maybe. Maybe it just might. So, how do we save this franchise? A franchise that we do all love, and yes, before anyone says anything, I do love Call of Duty. I just don't really like the shit ones. And the shit ones for me are Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 was really good! You know, I actually oh, I agree. For the first few months, it was fucking brilliant, but they just... They just fucked with it too much. And then, like I said, it was a shadow of the game that was when it came out, and that was it. I, I didn't like playing it anymore, so I put it down. Then you got Infinite Warfare. I, I want to stress that I don't hate Infinite Warfare like the majority of the internet. I just don't think it's anywhere near as good as anything we got out right now. And therefore, why would I play it and upload it when I don't actually really enjoy it in comparison to anything else? Plus, Call of Duty Ghosts is my favorite Call of Duty, so obviously this is going to come first. So There's also Modern Warfare Remastered as well, which admittedly I haven't really played. I've, I've played it probably like an hour. I, I will give it a proper crack at the whip and I will start uploading it, I'm sure, somewhere in the near future. But let's talk about how to save this franchise anyway. Now, first thing for me, what they got to do is they've got to stop all this annualization shit. Having it come out every November does no favors for anybody at all. The franchise needs a break in general and for me, having Call of Duty on a two-year cycle would work a lot better because when this game comes out, yeah, people are playing it for the first few months and then come January, everybody's like, oh, well, the new one's going to be revealed soon. And then a couple of months later, it gets revealed. Then for the last six months of the game's life cycle, you're actually too busy talking about the next one to actually enjoy the one that you're actually playing which doesn't really make a great deal of sense. So if they put it on a two-year life cycle, I think that'd be a lot better. Not only that, support it for the full two years. You know, don't just support it for a few months until the next one comes out. Give the games a real crack at the whip. And also to do that and to give the games long-term support, for me, you've got to remove the season pass. Having maps behind a paywall in this day and age is just fucking dumb because there is so many great first-person shooters on the market right now on these new-gen consoles and PC. Call of Duty is going to be irrelevant pretty soon as it is, so they've got to keep doing things to freshen up the formula. Now, I actually quite want to hear, I'm going to say, you've got to keep going with the supply drop system. Keep supply drops in the game, but make the map packs free. Make all maps free. And in these supply drops, just to keep everybody happy, yes, you can add guns. Activision could add guns gladly. You know, you add your camos, you add your emos, you add your character skins, all that good shit. Add whatever you want, guns as well. Keep the variants out, because variants just fuck with the game too much, and it just makes it no fun for everybody, because when you just kind of feel like you get bullshitted by somebody who's got the same gun but you, but a better version of it, that just doesn't seem fair. Whereas if you're going to add guns into the game, look, as long as they've got the money in to keep making the maps free and keep a content coming on a regular cycle, I've got no issue with that, man. I really haven't. That'd be pretty cool for me. And then, I don't know if you know this, but I, I'm quite fond of a game called Overwatch, and this is what I would like to do, because generally, the Call of Duty population seems to edge towards team deathmatch that's where the majority of players are going to go so then your domination to kill confirm search and destroys and whatnot yeah they are play but nowhere near as regularly as what they once were and one of the biggest problems for call of duty is it getting stale for a lot of people now the argument is you should go and try out some of these different game modes huh, yes they should but people also like their comfort zone and don't want to get dragged away from that i think that we've got to start doing quick play and ranked play no picking your game modes like Overwatch does it. That way, you're going to get a good variation of game modes on different maps. And then you kind of, I know you're forced to play everything, but is that really a big issue? I don't mind playing Payload. I don't mind playing Control. You know, I don't mind playing King of the Hill on Overwatch. You just start learning new things and you start to learn each game mode more and more. And speaking of game modes, the map should be game mode specific. You know, make this game for a casual audience with a real esports agenda. You know, I know you got COD champs and whatnot, but still, it doesn't really feel like you're playing the same game as them. Oh, what a throwing knife. So let's get, let's get ranked play running the same as what the pros would run. And then let's have casual play, kind of doing the same thing. But so you, you're playing hard point, you're playing S&D, you're playing domination, you're playing 
th that one with where you throw the ball into the hoop, you know, uplink, you know, when you're playing all these different game modes, that way then people could try different things and they'd probably start enjoying it. I'm quite fond of character bases as well and having different classes. Now I know Black Ops 3 did a really good job of that. I do want to see that come back, but again, only being able to pick one class. I say there's six to eight or ten different characters you can pick, but you could only pick one per team. You know, there's only one person could be the sniper, only one person could be the, the the heavy gunner and stuff like that. I think that'd be really cool. You know, one person would be stealthy with a silenced pistol and can sneak around the map. I think that'd be fun because then it gives the game a lot more variation and then they would have set guns to their class. So you can pick a character and then you can pick certain guns and certain maybe perks that go with that and certain kill streaks which are all allocated to that one character. I think that'd be really cool. And then it's like I say, it's a really good way of mixing things up. Because one of the, like I said, one of the biggest problems with the Call of Duty franchise in general is it's just getting stale. Now, what genre should it be set in? Hi, Camper! What genre should it be set in? Well, you know, whether it's World War II, whether it's, you know, modern times, I don't think it should be going into the future. I think Call of Duty going into the future in the first place was always a bit of a dumb move. But again, that is because the community demanded change. And then they got change, realized that they didn't like it. And now I can guarantee, you know, COD 2017 is just going to be Sledgehammer we're doing World War II or something like that, or the Cold Wars or something. And then everybody's going to see that reveal, bust a nut, and we're going to be back to square one again. But... Hopefully, uh, I say hopefully that doesn't happen. It's, it, that's definitely how this thing's going to go. But again, you know, I didn't, I didn't, so you've got to play every single game mode. I think that'd be really good. Having a quick play and a rank play and having a real, real good focus on clans and ranked play and giving them own rewards for working in ranked play, kind of like how Clan Wars was back in COD Ghosts. I think that'd be really cool. You know, custom skins, custom emblems, custom uniforms, custom outfits give us something to play for let's have a lot of cool camos thrown into the game but not all the cool ones stuck behind supply drops let's have challenges for fuck's sake it's been years since i think i've grinded out challenges for something cool in call of duty other than an emblem let's make like let's give these little secrets and stuff like that so people give something people that they really want to work for and not just have to grind for guns let's get rid of all this salvage shit let's get rid of all the, the oh i can say you can get rid of cod points and stuff like that just do like they do in overwatch if you you know if you get to a certain level like if you go up to the next level you get a supply drop simple as that and in that supply drop yeah there's guns yeah there's a few other bits and bobs but it's nothing major you know we want to keep the formula somewhat the same but we also want to really mix it up to the point is people like it and that it's fresh and that it's new and not the same old rehash shit that we get every year there are just some ways that I think the Call of Duty could be really improved, and I think the community would. You know, it'd take a bit of time, it'd take a bit of, you know, it's a bit of change, and it's something that they might not like at first. But I think over time, it is something they'd actually take on board, and that'd be really good for the franchise going forward. Let me know what you think, though. I want to see your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and want to see more, you know what to do, but press by now. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been the Bipolar Bear. Key you the outro.